Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Brain Gist. Today I'll be addressing some of the questions that have been asked about epilepsy and of course you've seen with my future, I mean my last sets of videos on the subject. So in case you are stumbling upon the channel for the very first time, I am Dr. John Oluwole. I'm a specialist neurologist in Dubai and I set up this channel to educate people about the brain and its disorders and I've spoken about so many topics in neurology in the past such as headaches and I'm currently doing a series on epilepsy so you're very welcome to the channel I'd like you to subscribe and turn on your notification watch the video enjoy it share it give your comments love to see them and for returning viewers you're very welcome and I thank you for watching all the time so uh, without further ado Today, I want to address questions such as, um, you know, for how long do patients need to be on medications if they are epileptic and when would they stop their medications? That's a very important question I've got asked, you know. Um, so the, the truth is uh, most patients um, reach that point when as experts we think that we can conveniently start to consider winning them off medication but there are um, cases in which uh, we do not think of winning a patients off medication so all of this depends on the type of epilepsy that we're dealing with so not there are no two epileptic patients that are the same and this is the point about us trying to you know take a full history from the patient trying to understand the kind of seizures that they have trying to understand their background medical history and some people do a lot of tests to understand the cause of their seizures and understand your family history and some other aspects of their life because putting all of this together we can conveniently put patients into different boxes or baskets and that we define as epilepsy syndromes so the kind of treatment and the duration of treatment depends very much on the type of epilepsy syndrome that we think such individuals have got. So, but for most people, we get to that point of being able to say, yes, we want to start to wean them off medication. And when do we reach that point? We reach that point when such individuals have been controlled on their medications they not had any seizures on medications for at least three to five years and then that process is a slow process we don't just stop the medication we tend to do some tests to see how likely we are to be successful in stopping the medication and then we gradually over a couple of weeks wean off the medication and monitor very carefully to see how the individual responds and if the seizure records and we know that this individual will not be successful in stopping their medication. Now, the rat those who've got some other forms of syndromes in which um, we do not stop their medication. One example is what we call the juvenile myoclonic epilepsy, in which research has shown that individuals who've got this kind of epilepsy usually aren't successful in stopping their medication. So we tend to keep them on medication for a very, very long time now the second question i've gotten asked about epilepsy is if those who have what we call idiopathic epilepsy or cryptogenic epilepsy do not have treatments those are people in whom we do not know the underlying cause for their seizures so the truth is whether or not we know the cause for the seizure it doesn't matter. So the right effective treatments for all kinds of seizures, be it medications, or sometimes we even go as far as surgery, uh, sometimes device-based therapy. So the right efficacious treatment for all and sundry with epilepsy. So there is no excuse whatsoever for anyone who's got epilepsy to not seek care. And now as a wrap up this video, I'll just give a quick set of tips for those who go epilepsy. 
one of them is that you need to be regular on your medication it's not just enough for you to be on medication you must take it regularly the same time of the day if possible and do not stop them because stopping them or skipping them puts you at risk of not just seizures you could have a very very protracted and difficult kind of seizure to treat what we call status epilepticus which can be very very difficult to treat so I, I advise that you do not skip your medications and the second thing is sleep so you must have regular sleep at least seven hours every night because if you deprive yourself of sleep you can potentially trigger seizures regardless of the fact that you're taking medication the third thing is alcohol so if you're an alcohol enthusiast then you need to be careful because if you uh, in, indulge in binge drinking that can potentially trigger uh, seizures so I know some patients whose only seizures have happened in the context of taking excessive alcohol so you need to take a call in moderation that's very important and then do not change the brand of your medication without your doctor saying so so in case you relocated or you moved to a new area and you can't find the same brand of medication you've been taking before so you might need to link up with your doctor who knows about epilepsy who can advise you about you know shifting your dose to your medication to the new one vis-a-vis uh, -vis the changes that need to be made a uh, dosage adjustment and all of that so that's all i have to offer today i hope you enjoyed it so please uh, share the video give it a thumbs up subscribe turn on your notification and i'll see you in my next video so until then stay safe and goodbye